I'm Reed Timmer and I'm the Extreme Meteorologist at TornadoVideos.net. The Dominator is specifically designed to survive the harsh conditions inside a tornado. We always need to have a computer at all times uh, available to navigate those farm roads using GPS, uh, to connect to the internet to find which storms are rotating and which storms have the best chance of producing tornadoes. And the last laptop stand that we had uh, was flying all over the place. We, we couldn't stabilize it. Every single time we'd stop, it would slam into the CD player and destroy all the buttons. And it could have killed us if we got in an accident. Uh, so we need to have that laptop secure because our whole entire operation focuses on the laptop. And that's why we, we partnered with Havis to get a, a good laptop stand inside the vehicle. So when TVN approached uh, Havis looking for a new solution, some of the things that were articulated to us were concerns about the solution moving around the cab of the vehicle, uh, stability when driving, and the safety of occupants. And those all really address the heart of what Havis does. So what we do is we use features like this lock arm, which will allow you to swing the solution to get into the proper ergonomic position, but once it's locked into place, it won't break free. So God forbid you're ever involved in an accident, this, this solution will help prevent injury. Uh, also, what we take a look at is reliability. Obviously, you rely on that computer to provide you with a lot of mission-critical data when you're out in the, in the eye of the storm. Uh, what, what this device is designed and what we test it to is very high standards to ensure that we're not going to limit connectivity, we're not going to have a, a break in, in you know, the, the, the wireless or attachment to the radar or anything like that that's critical for you. So reliability, um, comfort, and then safety are all the things we do to, to maximize your uptime and ensure you're getting the data you need. Reed, let's say you want to put the computer in the docking station. One first step is to make sure that the door is open on the bottom. Now this door is closed all the time so it's waterproof when it's out in the rain. But once you get into the vehicle, you want to open that up, make sure it's open all the way. You simply take the computer, put it where the front hooks align, let it drop into place, and then push this forward. Wow. You'll know it's engaged because the blue light comes on and now you're all set. This computer is secure and ready to perform its daily tasks. This is amazing. So you can turn the computer off and on with that button? Yeah, so this button right here, it works just like the hibernate switch up on the top. When I push it, you notice it gives me the option to stand by, turn off, or restart. So it performs the exact same function. It's all based on Dell Electronics, so it works just like a Dell, uh, Dell solution. So we could plug our GPS device just directly into the laptop stand and... Yeah, absolutely. So really currently good. all we've got right now is power provided. So the power is actually charging this battery, ensuring that you have full power. But let's say you want to go ahead and plug in a USB device that's permanently mounted. You can plug in through the back. These clips here that we provide are designed to strain relief the cable so they don't accidentally disconnect. Uh, you can attach things like modems through your serial port, uh, you know, printers and USB devices, uh, maybe a video camera in through your Ethernet port if you want to monitor the situations and have it all feed back through. That'd be perfect. The eSAT is great for a hard drive. You want to download your data to a hard drive without having to pull it out of the computer, or screw it on, plug it into the computer, plug it in right here, pop it out, and go. So this thing could basically make our breakfast in the morning. That's right. We'll actually toast bread. We don't, we don't publicize <laughs> it, but then we'll do it. Wow. <laughs> all right, we're going to throw this laptop in the have a stand. I'm normally not good at doing anything with my hands, so uh, if this is easy for me, it's definitely easy for everybody. Oh, the lights popped on. Just make sure you go ahead and dock it. Push the, the connector in. Nice. Now you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm fine. Forward. This is nice to sit in, too. So Yeah, it's not bad. And so one of the things we do from an ergonomic standpoint is you can see right now you can address the computer pretty easily. I still can have my sight lines, right? Mm -hmm. You can type. If I was actually you know, if we had to, in a crunch, I had to actually access the computer, maybe we were stopped, I could do so as well. Mm -hmm. And it's able to articulate and swing around. So there's there's a number of different adjustments, like there's an arm that actually allows it to come out. Oh, wow. So That's if you nice. do need to create more space, you can do so at any point. There's a number of different adjustments for it. Nice. So this is the locking arm right here? Exactly. Right here. Man, that's easy. That's really easy. And the nice thing yeah. about the arm is, while a lot of our competitors or your previous solution, for instance, allowed it to swing back and forth, mm -hmm. ours is the only one that locks into place like that. So once it does get locked into place, if we were to get sideswiped side by, let's say, a combine, we'd be secure and safe. The computer wouldn't actually move through the car. Wow. So having these laptop stands in our vehicle not only increase our safety, but also our productivity. And if we lose our laptop, we're not going to find the tornado. Right. And uh, we want to be safe doing so. So this is perfect. Well, good luck with the upcoming season, and uh, thanks for, so much for letting us be involved in it. Thank you. Yeah, we'd love to have you out storm chasing this year. It'd be a fun ride. So. I look forward to it. That'd be great. All right. Thank you. Thanks.